This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 9, If Else If, and Conditional Logic, Puzzle 4, If Else If. Let's recreate the movie rating example from the previous page and video. Um, okay, so this is the PG-13 one. And add an If Else If statement with a series of If Else Ifs to display the right message based on the user's age. We've started out with We've started you out with code that prompts the user for her age. We've also provided all council log statements you need. That's nice of them. Your task, an if-else statement with appropriate Boolean expressions, and move the council log statements into the right clause so that the correct message gets displayed. Here's a reminder of what's supposed to happen. Got it. So, if, seven, yep, five, ba. All right, now, what they were just saying is order matters, okay? In the previous part of this, order does matter with an if-else statement. So I'm going to grab my if and drop it here. And I'm going to start hitting plus and plus and plus, okay? And order matters because if I start with if the user's age is greater than 5, well, this and this is greater than 5. So that's not exactly helpful because maybe my age is 77 and I first ask if the user's age is greater than 5. So next I ask, well, is the user's age greater than 13, right? But it never gets here because this is true. My age was 77. I asked if it was greater than 5. So if greater than 5, it would drop down and run and never hit the stuff below it. So the order matters. You got to think about what is going to be true and where it's going to be true because it might need to actually go to another spot in the if-else statements. So first, let's see if they're older than 17. So 17 or older. We already have our age. So we want to use a comparison operator right here and do age, right? And we need two equals because it's not a variable. Two equal sign means we're comparing it to something. One equal sign means we're defining, redefining, or initializing a variable value, right? Age equals. And age is going to be equal to whatever the user responds to this. So uh, if age, oop, and I put the wrong one. We want to know if it's greater than or equal to 13. So is age greater than or equal to 13? Oh, wait, 17, apparently, 17. All right. And then we're going to grab our council log and pop it up here, OK? Now, if the user's age is 13 or over, so equal to 13 or larger, and we know it won't be 17 because we're going to do that first. Because obviously, if they can see an R-rated movie, they can see a PG-13 movie. So if age is greater than or equal to 13, you can see a PG-13 movie alone. Else, if greater than 5, or it else else if they're greater than five else this is the default so if none of these are true after we've checked all of these okay they're not older than 17 okay well are they older than 13 no false okay are they older than five false then the default will be this council log all right and the order really does matter let's go ahead and hit run um, I'm going to say I'm 15. Let's see how this works. So I'm old enough for PG-13 movies, but not R. Perfect. And I want to test out all of these. I'm 19. R movie alone, good. I'm 6. Oh, wait a minute. I flipped these. Five-year-old can see a movie alone? Strange. Yep, okay. And then now I'm three. Else. Awesome. Great. So order is super important. That's what's working for me. Let's uh, keep going.